joining a numpy array and joining means uh, putting the content of two or more array in a single array in the sql we join tables uh, based on key whereas in numpy we join array by axis so we pass a sequence of array that we want to join to the concatenated and functions concatenate functions along with the axis and in the axis will explicitly pass it is taken as zero now if i have a two array called array one and array two and if i use a concatenated uh, array one array two it will join the two array by default so let's see the first example of uh, joining two arrays let me comment this now for example now example of joining two array now let's say array one equal to uh, np dot array and uh, I define one comma two comma three comma four. I have a four remaining array and array two equal to np dot array and uh, here I will use five six seven eight. So let's concatenate this array into an array three called np so np dot concatenate and uh, you have to pass within that area one comma area two and this is two parameter pass into an concatenate and then i want to print okay so let's print area one and then let's print array two and then let's print array three let's see how it works Okay, I think I made a mistake here. Okay, let's see that. Print now concatenate what you why this x scalar? Oh, I need to define this within this bracket well, because it is not a scale, it's a vector. So let me run once again and then see here it is defined. So it's a vector, that is why you need to define within the parentheses. Double parentheses is required to declare. Okay, so this is uh, concatenation of uh, two array and then we are going to have a multiple dimension and then you can have an axis which axis you want to concatenate so a sim similar way I want to divide this array something like this okay no issue and then I have a two dimension array something like this I divide it into this then you can have something like this okay and then when I say concatenate the area 1 and area 2 and when you do the concatenation of area 1 area 2 and then you need to define which axis you want to uh, concatenate so here axis equal to 1 say if I say axis equal to 1 what happens okay oh, sorry here I missed one bracket okay now with this one uh, let me print out and let's see that how it's concatenate it's concatenate here so it is concatenating as a 1, 2, uh, 5, 6, 1, 2, 5, 6, the first one, and then 3, 4, 7, 8, like this it is coming into the axis 1. Now in case if I uh, give the same, okay, if I use the same thing, but I change the axis to say 0, what happens? Let's see, 0, then it concatenates something like this. So the area 1 is, this is the area 1, and this is area 2. And the entity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's how it's concatenated. Now, in case if I change this, okay, into instead of 0, I'll just put 2. Let me say 2. What happened? Let's see no? how it works. 2 doesn't work because it becomes out of bound because there are only 2 entity here. Now, we come this instead of this, I'll just Put it into three dimension array uh, no three column array so the same thing here five six six and seven eight eight and then this one also let me have another now because i was getting the out of bound so this time if i put two probably i will not get out of bound so let's see that why i'm getting out of bound i am having properly what is saying axis 2 is all bound for an array of dimension 2 saying an array of dimension 2 is not bound so if i say this and uh, one more this and uh, this and uh, one more this what happened can you see that wow 
so now you have an array of this dimension so this is how if you can put x is 2 and then you see here 1 2 3 5 6 6 1 2 3 5 6 6 and then you have another array called 3 4 4 and 7 8 8 1 2 3 4 6 7 same thing so in this way uh, you can uh, do the x's and you can do the concatenations as you prefer